What is good, Geneva? I'm here with Jackson Reyes and Chad Weber. And I'm Ryan B. We got a lot of sports to go over, or actually football in specific. So uh, let's get it started right away. Yeah, let's start off with the Steelers versus Dolphins. This was a defensive game, especially for the Dolphins. They survived a scoreless second half by having three interceptions on rookie Kenny Pickett. This was also to his return game from his concussions. He played a decent game overall. And then receiving for the Dolphins, Waddle and Hill had a good games, just shy of 100 yards for both. And now we're going to talk about uh, the Ravens game. Uh, the Ravens uh, defeated the Cleveland Browns. This was their first game that they won uh, trailing. They, were, they trailed in the first half. Every game that they've been trailing this year, they've lost. And the Ravens uh, led 23-20 to after Justin Tucker's 55-yard field goal with 11 minutes to play. The Browns responded with a two-yard touchdown run by Kareem Hunt to make it a three-point game. Uh, there's a fumble by Justice Hill, which gave Cleveland the ball back. Yeah, Baltimore is struggling with those running backs, so yeah. a bunch of them are getting injured. And Cleveland made it back uh, to try a field goal, but a false start moved them back to 60. And the attempt ended up being blocked by Malik Harris with just under two minutes to play, and the Ravens were able to run out most of the game. That's one thing coaches hate. Small penalties like that can cost yeah. a game for you. Oh, yeah. All right, uh, moving on to uh, Packers uh, against Commanders. I don't know if it's just me, but the Packers don't really feel the same this year. That offense is just not clicking right with um, Devontae yeah. Adams, just yeah. not there. I don't, I don't know, know. Aaron Rodgers struggling to connect with those receivers, those young receivers. We'll I don't see, know. though. I mean, last year they, they just felt there was this uh, electrical a little vibe spark. to the team. Yeah, I don't know. Not as much this year. Uh, Aaron Rodgers still throwing for 193 yards, uh, but – Taylor Henneke actually still out through him. Yeah, um, backup for the commanders with yeah, uh, Carson Wentz being out. Yeah, um, with the leading receiver being uh, Terry McLaurin, nothing special, like 70-ish yards. Um, yeah, um, another uh, veteran quarterback who hasn't been really performing well is uh, Tom Brady. So the Bucks versus Panthers. Panthers shocked the Bucks. I, w- I didn't see this one coming. Yeah. I don't think anyone did. Um, the Bucks. Got off to a slow start. They Mike Evans dropped the wide open touchdown early in the game, which definitely did not boost their morale at all. Tom Brady said he was very disappointed, but hopes that they can build on this loss and for the rest of the year they can do good. Um, Panthers had their backup quarterback PJ Walker. He threw for two touchdowns, better than what Baker Mayfield yeah. has been doing um, over the other games, rushing the ball for them despite losing Christian McCaffrey. Dante Foreman had over 100 yards rushing, and yeah. And now we're going to go to Jets-Broncos. Jets won, improving the record to 5-2, and two, which is their best record since 2010 after seven games. Uh, the Jets came out in the first half with a 10-9 to lead, and both teams did not score for the entire third quarter. But they are both of the two lowering scoring teams, third quarter scoring teams in the NFL through six weeks. A minute 24 left in the game. The Jets took advantage of the game's first turnover Turnover with a pick by safety, LaMarcus Joyner, for his third pick of the season. Big defensive and, game there. Yeah. yeah. And the Jets ended up sinking two more field goals to defeat the Broncos 16-9. Yeah. Um, injury report for the Jets. Rookie Brees Hall, electric running back so far, could possibly be deemed ruled out for the rest of the season with an ACL injury. Yeah, not looking good. Not looking good. He also – had one of the fastest uh, speeds by ball carrier this season in that game on a twenty almost 22-mile-per-hour 22 speed. That's they have crazy. had four straight victories, best start in a decade. And for the Broncos, um, Russell Wilson did not was not active today. They benched him so that his injury wouldn't get any worse. Yeah, sore, knee, sore thigh or something like that. Upcoming, right. though, Bears versus New England tonight. Mac Jones looking – to come back and spark the Patriots after Bailey Zapp has been performing really well. Others thought that he might, he should get the starting job. I uh, personally think he should. Yeah, uh, Bears really have to focus on rushing the ball well against um, Patriots defense. Yeah, they're struggling. Yeah, they're, they're struggling very low there. in uh, run defense, pass defense, just overall defense at all. And Bill Belichick is just not happy about that. All righty. Well, uh, that's all we have for you to, today, Geneva. As you heard, a lot of big upsets. Uh, We'll see you next time on the show. Thanks for listening.